Last time on Total Drama Random Island, campers were tasked with going through three extreme sport challenges. Pete had a hard landing, Dwayne proved he could tame any beast, and in the final extreme sport, Taylor was able to shock Justin using pretty unorthodox methods. Elodie was able to convince Justin that keeping Millian was the right call, and instead, Justin got rid of Owen. Pete says at this point they are unstoppable. Jock says for once he actually agrees with him. They will continue picking off the screaming gophers until there's nobody left. Dwayne says it's great to have such a good team with people that can bring so many different things to the table. Sammy says it's just nice we put our differences aside to work together. Kitty says to tell her about it, she was so tired of all the fighting. Taylor says that she's in a good mood, how about we use some of her expensive makeup to look extra Chipotle for today's challenge. Chris then comes over the intercom and says that starting right now, it's every camper for themselves. Taylor says, well, good luck trying to look less trashy. Sammy says that she didn't want to be with her anyway. Jock says Pete is going down. Pete says he never liked Jock anyway. Kitty and Dwayne try to bring the team together, saying they can still work together, but Taylor and Jock tell them to get real. Million Confessional says that the good part about having a dysfunctional team is that the breakup is cathartic and not heartbreaking. Justin says he's been waiting for this. Bring it on, Chris. Chris says to get ready for this, and a boat begins coming in. Millie says, oh no. Justin asks what she's doing back, and Chris says back by popular demand is Eva. Eva says, that's right, I'm back. And just so we're clear, not only am I going to kick butt, but I'm giving special attention to my backstabbing gopher team that voted me off. Jock says it sucks to be them, and Millie says that she thought Chris said that we weren't ever allowed to come back. Chris asks if he did say that, and a montage plays of all the times he said that. Chris just says that he lied, and Millie says this has to be against the rules. Eva is breathing on Millie's neck, and Millie asks how she's been. Eva says she's been taking anger management to control her temper. Lord knows she needs it, since that's the reason they voted her off. Millie says good for her, and DJ says that it's good to have her back. Eva says he's got that right. Taylor asks if she really was an audience favorite, and Chris says not really, but we liked her. Also returning to camp is Lorenzo. Justin says, oh no, not him. Lorenzo yells to Millie saying he's back. He wrote to her every day when he got eliminated. Did she get his letters? Millie says, no, what gives Chris? Chris says that their postal system isn't the best, and besides, we wouldn't have let you have them anyway. But our interns got to read them. Justin asks how he's been, and Lorenzo says he's been practicing ancient meditation techniques and forgives Justin for what he did to him. Justin says that's very mature of him to do. Lorenzo then says that's what he would say if he got eliminated fairly, but you cheated to win. Chris comes over the loudspeaker and tells them to report to the amphitheater to learn about today's challenge. Also, there's a new idol placed around the island. McLean out. Jock says this is what he's been waiting for, a competition where he won't get dragged down by some specific teammates. Pete asks if he's talking about him, and Jock says maybe. Before the challenge, Eva's in the cabin, and she says she'll take Millie's bunk unless Mrs. Backstabber has a problem with that. Kitty tells her, you know what, you're back in the game, so you need to let go of this woe is me shtick. You got voted out, get over you big baby. Taylor and Confessional says even she wouldn't have done that. Sammy tells them to chill out, they're all in here to win. Eva says she's got that right, she's gonna win, before leaving. Millie tells Kitty thanks for stepping in, and Kitty says it's her pleasure. She wouldn't let anyone get bullied here. Sammy and Confessional says, yeah, right. She was taking her sweet time to stop Amy, and now all of a sudden she's jumping in the way of Eva. Two-faced little. <laughs> Chris welcomes them to their next challenge, the time-honored game of torture. Say, uncle. You all are about to be put through tests of endurance so insane that some of them sent our interns to the emergency room. If you back down from the challenge or don't last the required 10 seconds, you will be eliminated. The winner will not only be safe from elimination, but will win this luxurious trailer. Elodie asks what kinds of torture, and Chris says to ask his lovely assistant. Alright, let's do this. Dwayne, you're first up. Let's spin the wheel of misfortune to select your torture. Dwayne gets turtle puck shots, and Dwayne in confessional says turtles are cute. How bad? can this be? Chris says that his interns have spent weeks collecting snapping turtles. While you stand in the goalie net, Chef will hit snapping turtles at you. It starts and Dwayne gets hit by a snapping turtle and he screams to get it off as he starts running. Chris says he did not last the 10 seconds so he is out. Taylor, your torture is marshmallow waxing. We're gonna wax your whole body. If you can take the pain for 10 seconds, you can continue. Taylor says this is fine. Waxing is good. She gets it dropped on her and lasts. Justin says he doesn't even think he could have lasted, and he's a model. Taylor says it hurts, but her face hasn't been smoother. 
Chris says that because Taylor didn't complain, she can choose who's next. Eva yanks her hair and Taylor says she chooses Millie with lake leeches because she's a backstabbing lowlife traitor. Eva says it's payback time. Elodie says in confessional that this is just karma for the notebook she wrote. Thank god it's not her being targeted by Eva. Lorenzo yells he'll do it. Millie says he doesn't have to, but Lorenzo says he's practiced ancient Zen meditation rituals. He won't feel the pain. He goes in and lasts a bit before Lorenzo jumps out at 9.9999 seconds, and Chris says it was close, but not 10 seconds. Lorenzo, you're out. Millie says in confessional that it was still sweet of him to do it, even if he couldn't handle it. Pete says wooden shorts, big deal. Chef pulls out a woodpecker and Pete says no way, he may not get much play, but he values his coconuts, thank you very much. Justin has to get his nose hairs pulled, and he refuses, saying it'll mess with his perfectly symmetrical face. DJ fails to last 10 seconds getting tangled by a snake, Millie is able to handle a whole sweater made of bees, and the next challenge is lasting 10 seconds in a wooden crate with Sasquatch and Aqua. Since Millie didn't complain, she can choose who goes. She says obviously Eva. Jock says in confessional that either way it's a win-win, either Eva dies or Eva survives and Millie dies. Eva survives and so Millie is out. Next, it's Jock hopping over rocks with skunks between them. Jock says this will be easy before a skunk sprays him and Jock screams saying it's the smell of silver. Taylor has to get her hair chopped and she says no way she's going to be bald on international TV and quits. Elodie has to do an ice cream brain freeze and she quits after getting a brain freeze. Kitty has to get shocked by electric eels and she says no way, if she's having a bad hair day on international TV she won't ever live it down. Chris says fickle, but understandable. Alright you're out. Now it's just Sammy and Eva, time for the sun death round. Sammy says in confessional that honestly, she doesn't know why she's trying so hard. She's not in danger of elimination, she thinks. If the challenge isn't too hard, she'll win this sudden death round. Otherwise, yeah, she's done. Sammy, your final challenge is to beat Molotov the Bear in log rolling. Kitty says she can do it. Do it for Millie so she doesn't have to face Eva's wrath. Sammy says, you know what? No, Chris, I can't do this. Kitty asks why, and Sammy says she doesn't want to die for Millie. Eva says smart choice, she would have stabbed you in the back too. Kitty says in confessional she can't believe she'd do that. Throw away a chance at immunity for safety? It's like she doesn't want to be famous for being stupid. Chris says that Eva can enjoy the trailer, and now you all will have to vote someone out that's not Eva. Obviously. Sammy goes to Jock and says this is how things are going to go. You're going to vote my way. I know it's not Taylor, but... Jock says it's cool, he wanted them gone as well. Justin tells Millie that the only way to be safe tonight is to vote for them. And Millie says she knows, she just doesn't think they deserve it. At elimination, Chris says first up, we ran out of marshmallows. Lorenzo says this sucks, he only came back for the marshmallows and Millie. I've reviewed the confessionals and I've gotta say, there's lots of hate in this group, which is awesome. While I normally protect your privacy in the spirit of airing your dirty laundry, I'm gonna go live with your confessionals. Kitty says that since Eva has immunity, the only other option for her own safety is Millie. Sorry. Pete says that he votes for Kitty. Sorry, Dwayne, but I can't risk her getting to the final three with us. Sammy says Kitty didn't stand up for her the way she stood up for Millie, so her. Millie says please get me out before I die. Taylor says sorry, Kitty, but that little alliance needs to end. Lorenzo says definitely Justin. Justin says Kitty is the only real option. He heard from the grapevine she has a little alliance going on. Elodie says Millie for her own good. DJ says Millie for her own health and safety. Eva says she'll be voting for Kitty. Jack says come on, you know who I'm voting for. Bye bye Kitty. Chris says lots of dirt revealed there, huh? But in the end it was six votes against Kitty, so adios. Kitty says she can't believe this, and Dwayne says seriously, you see a girl standing up for her friend and you vote her out? Back in his day that was honorable. Kitty says that she knew eventually people would target them, she just didn't expect it so soon, and she didn't think Pete would be one of them. Dwayne says he hopes her and Duncan have a good time, and Kitty says that they'll be rooting for him wherever she ends up. Millie asks if this will really work, and Lorenzo says to trust him, she won't even know she's beating some pillows and other simple materials, she'll get all her anger out tonight. Millie tells him thanks and gives him a kiss on the cheek, and Lorenzo says it's nothing, well, good night. And that's that for Total Drama Random Island Episode 13, what did you think? Question of the week, do you think Eva can last long now that she's made it through the first episode? Why or why not? I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below, and I'll see you all next time on Total Drama Random Island.